Oh, you are locked in, so you can change your name. I don't care. No, it's fine. I like this. It's fine. <laughs> I don't even want to change my name anymore. I don't, I don't want, want to change my name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of a Gaming Podcast, episode 64 and 64 edition. Look at us. Oh. Huh? Look at us. Hey. Five yeah. more before the I've big won. one. Five yes. more. Everyone's going to sell that one. Everyone's going to be very happy to that one. Yes, that's for sure. Very nice. Nice episode. Wait, that'll be Chris wow. around Christmas, I think, isn't it? Uh, ble- bless well, just before. Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> or it'd be 69 episodes. What's the 60? <laughs> let me, well, let me see. Okay, 70. Just 70, just treat it like, uh, 70, just 70, or, like an elevator. Just skip the number. No, I, th- I think it's 65, 66, 67. It would be the new year. It would be New Year's Eve. Yeah. On new year. yeah, what a way to start the new year. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. Uh, you, you can tell it's it's Area. the four of us together here. Look, look, look. You can tell right away from the beginning of the episode. Just right away, you're like, oh, 69th episode. Can't wait for that one. <laughs> 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 We're uh, misogynistic today. Good day, Steve. The last 63 episodes are probably, you know, Steve Meg Vita 2. Why not? God is good. God is great. Vita lives. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I almost spat diet coke all over my laptop. I will admit, when I came in, wow. I misread that, and I thought you were like, "What, do you, what does Steve Fajita two mean?" Like, I don't get. It. <laughs> I missed like the whole yeah. <laughs> Big like Vita two. Vita is back. He's back. Vita's back. Yeah. Nice. Nice. We're so back, folks. We're so back. <laughs> Uh, but everything's good though. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, yeah, we're weeks away from the game awards. Um, can, cannot wait. We're go. Most of uh, us. Twenty one pilots got announced. Which be is great. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff got twenty one pilots, but <laughs> I, I'm locked in for that. That'll be a cool performance. I Didn't you get Green Day one year? Oh my god, that was 2019. Well, they, I had to yeah. look it up the other day. I'm like, was I there for that? No, it was. Yeah, it was 2019. It was 2019 when I didn't go. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were asking for Green Day. I was like, they have to do something relevant to gaming. Was it was it E three <laughs> that did Blink one eighty two? Yeah. So yes, as they got Blink one eighty two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they, I was at the conference and they just had them playing on the like the bar. Right. Room. Yeah. I remember what? saying like, I am like right next. To it. I was like, what, what is watching? happening? Wow. It was so cool. There you go. This is uh, this is a Steve. Sorry, I was Mister A. It's been That's on. fine. I, you know, doing good. Uh, same thing, kind of. Uh, I, 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 I didn't realize how close the Game Awards is until mm. like kind of like this week. I'm like, oh shoot, it's like two, two and a half weeks away. Like it's right. it's pretty dang close. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm uh, it's it's one of my favorite times of the year. Uh, get to see some friends. Get to see you guys there. We're going to Disney, which is gonna be great. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good time. Oh yeah, can't wait. And then there's Riley. Riley, what's going on? How's, well, how's the mayhem of the shopping? That's still we're still in it. Uh, Black Friday is like three weeks now. So yeah, I realized I thought wild. that Black Friday was like Black last Friday. week for some reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like so they started three weeks ago the sales, and then they progress. It's almost like a snowball. So you start, and then it just gets. Bigger and bigger and bigger. So now it's going to be. We like got two. The real one. We, so we got one in October. Three. We had three weeks, but I mean, we got one in October though. Is uh, our do we? What? It do like no, a we don't get a black. Black. we don't get one in October. No, no. Hey. They there's some places they act like oh since the Canadian Thanksgiving here's the Black Friday for the Canadian Thanksgiving. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. I, don't I, know I, I don't know Walmart did anything, but I know there were some like. I just remember getting promotions like, the day after Halloween. Like it was locked yeah. in November. Oh, yeah. Boom, we're in it. I You're was ready. like, okay, I'm, and now, you know, days away from Black Friday, I'm exhausted about talking about Black Friday. Here's a question Do you think that Black Friday kind of negates everything bla- b- about Boxing Day? Yes. Because it feels like it's the same, it's the same deals, just a month apart. And I, I, it doesn't I, feel I, like significant. Like Boxing Day doesn't seem significant anymore. Not as anymore. It did. No, not as a kid. Oh. I remember as a kid, Black yes. uh, Boxing Day was huge. I mean, yes. it, was, it was the yeah. day after Christmas. You got your gift cards. You got everything. Well, that's because because we, I always thought was a better it. time because Absolutely. you got money that's to spend. Get, that's yeah. because we didn't get Black Friday back in the day. Right. That's so true. That's true. Yeah, we didn't, yeah. yeah. But like so. ever since they initiated it, it's like, I, I get it. It's like, okay, you can get best deals for like Christmas gifts and stuff like that. But 
when you have money for Christmas, like, like after Christmas, Boxing Day is the perfect time to spend it. When you have money and receipts, be like, I don't want this sweater. <laughs> Give us too. Here's yeah. A, here's yeah. A receipt, grandma. <laughs> but it's also like once you get to being an adult and I see something as early as, you know, Black Friday, I'm like, I'm just going to buy it now. I'm not yeah. waiting anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it's, it's a good thing. Like, at least you Christmas know that if you miss out on it now, like... <laughs> at least you know you miss it out it now. You can be able to get the same deal again in a month, so that, you can plan for that. Which is that, nice. that's exactly what I do with my LG C1, where I kind of like snooped out all the the best uh, deals during Black Friday. I was like, okay, I'm not ready to pull the trigger just yet. Waited around yeah. Christmas, Boxing Day came around. I was like, okay, it's it's the exact same price. I'm just gonna go for it now because this is yeah. now or never. What a snoop you are. I know, right? <laughs> Snoopy Steve is what they call me. I I knew that Black or I knew that Black Friday kill Boxing Day when I walked into a Best Buy at like ten o'clock in the morning on on Boxing Day, and they still had all of their like door crasher TVs available. Oh yeah, and I was like, that used to be unheard of. That well, they would used to be cleared like, out like minute one as soon as you walked in. I but, think I think this like the lead up to holiday is going to be very interesting, and especially with Boxing Week it, uh, in like Canada in particular because of the tax break. Right. Right. So, oh really shoot! I that. forgot about that. Yeah. That's yeah. This year. So that, that one two will, will be crazy. pretty potent. Starts yeah, on the 14th and December goes to February. Yeah. Nice. That includes all video games and stuff, right? It totally mm -hmm. does. It includes video games, video game consoles, and peripherals. So for the folks at home, it just means no GST, Living right? in Canada. Yeah, no GST. So you save 13% that you would have paid otherwise. Hell yeah. It also yeah. applies to Lego. If if you're a oh, Lego fan. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. Nice as well, yeah. Yes. Oh, Lego could be so freaking expensive, man. <laughs> we take the wins. Although I need to for get now. my hands on the, uh, on the NES uh lego set because i heard that that's going to be discontinuing sometime like in the, the soon like really? within the next year so i'm like i need to get my hands on one but they yeah. have to go on sale they're the like, still, like 300 box or something like that too which was cool because it had like the mario 64 worlds in it yeah right so that's, right. that's also discontinued i think yeah oh, it's, it's, has there any been uh, any black friday so that caught your guys eyes though or anything i know Steve not Bell, really like, battery 100 bucks off yeah. playstation yeah. 5 the that slim. is the big one. Yep, that's pretty cool. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. Well, if you don't have one, no, it's a great yeah. deal. Of course, game discount on PlayStation VR two. Everyone, get your PS VR twos now. It's like three. Oh, they're still hot. Three dollars off, I think. Yeah, it, it's, it's same like price. Pretty as, big. Same price as PlayStation is right now. Like it's uh, dollar yeah. to dollar, which is pretty cool. I'm yeah. surprised you didn't mention Nintendo games, Riley. There's like there's, there's so many. There's Nintendo a lot games of on, Nintendo Switch on games. Sale. Yeah, Especially Nintendo specific. Tears of the Kingdom's coming up. Uh, that's yeah. all right now. So we have that coming up. You know what I found was uh, funny was that is that uh, they include like I saw I was like oh this sorry Riley but this is like kind of one of those this is like I saw it on Walmart Don't but it me. was the go, the, Riley. the meta quest the meta quest bundle. Riley. Yeah, uh, the, with the with the Arkham Shadow, it said it was like it was part of the Black Friday deals, and it said it was three ninety nine. And I looked, I'm like, that's there's no deal on that. It's just that's the actual retail price. Wow, but it was included in the Black Friday deals. So, <laughs> no, you think, you think uh, Steve, they call that a prank. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't realize it was April Fools too. Okay, yeah, right, it's man. a prank, dog. You get ah, the email. You got yeah. me. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> prank <laughs> chat. <laughs> Uh, you know who may have got uh, got us as well? Christopher Judge. I'm just going to throw this in there as well. Uh, he came out uh, yesterday mm. or a couple days ago uh, saying that there's a lot of he's teasing upcoming events. He, was, he also used the word uh, boy, the famous word boy, when he signed off as well. And as uh, how, did he, uh, hmm? how did he say boy? Boy. Yeah, but like how? <laughs> does that yeah, even how? How, how, how does this work on here if I do this? Boy. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 let, me, let me try it on mine. Let me try it on mine. Boy. Oh, oh wait, there you go. Yeah. That's pretty good. That ain't bad. And then, and then uh, there's most likely the outcome of Kratos appearing on a sequel level and or the. Judge. Oh, right. I forgot that there's going to be that, one like that. that. Yeah. Sight, apparently. But then, of course, afterwards, he clarified there's no upcoming announcements when people were like, well, clearly spoiling everything that's coming up soon. But 
Do yeah, guys, I don't think that the, the headlining actor of uh, one of PlayStation's AAA franchises would just come out and be like, hey, guys, an announcement on the game's coming out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you get that quote <laughs> about, uh, about no. Troy Baker? And they were like, everyone was saying that he was going to be in the next, like, Naughty Dog game. Naughty Dog game, but There's yeah. nothing that actually, like, attributes to Neil Druckmann saying anything like that. He's like, I'll always work with Troy. Yeah. That was the quote. But yeah. it was the article that said, oh, he's going to be in the next product project. I'm like, where? What did he yeah, say? That, that was such a leap in logic. <laughs> oh, but, but also, like, oh, I, it's it's unquestionable that this man's going to be in Last of Us Part 3. Maybe that's the game he's going to be in. <laughs> I don't think don't so, know. dog. <laughs> like flashback. Nah. You guys are crazy. But yeah, I don't uh, know. It just was weird. It was like when, it, when I saw that, like with 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 Chris Judge, and I saw like it was like, man, people are just really just looking for give video game news now, aren't we? Well, it's <laughs> it's not like it's it's always nice. After Jeff announces his stuff, it's pretty much like a like like a dry season. You're like, oh, oh well, totally. He's gonna wait for this for three weeks, you know. So I'm but pretty sure Chris like Judge and Troy Baker are probably gonna be at the game awards. Like it's <laughs> probably a given they're gonna present or something like that. Or is there like a rumor of a state of play before the game awards? Uh for the third, the anniversary. The third, right? There is a rumor. The third. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like oh, that's for the 30th, 30th right. anniversary. Yeah. Uh they they had like that an ad weird. or something that mentioned that. Yeah, I, I don't know, maybe. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. I think if yeah. anything is just the anniversary. They, I think today yeah, yeah, even I think they just it. launched a a new website landing page, just kind of going yeah. over the history of PlayStation and stuff like that. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a video that comes out that's just like commemorating 30 years, which yeah. would be yeah. cool. But that's my guess. I really don't think that's so close before the game awards that we're gonna get a God of War, a a Naughty Dog announcement. I think yeah. Just, Chill, chill, everyone. Because they got like three like news beats that they're already going to be in. They're going to like that the thirtieth anniversary plus whatever their episode is in secret level that comes out on the tenth, well, and got then two. the game awards. I got two, Steve. I got two Concord. big episodes. Oh, they got two and and Concord Steve. and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that Concord episode is going to win everyone over. Concord's coming back. Right baby. there with you. Yeah, Concord's coming back. Concord crew. Concord crew. crew, it's coming back, yeah. baby. It's come back. I'm ready. It's, uh, it's in red, plastic it's and everything. Never open that. Game. Never open that. Never no, open no, that. no. I ain't open it. I ain't <laughs> open it. <laughs> also, they have uh, my first Gran Turismo. Like, it's like a remake as well. That's been like rated as well. It's like, so. isn't it like a reduced version of the game? The that's first out? one. No, I think was, it's like was it like a remake. I think it's like a remake of the first one or so that. Oh, know. like or, or or wait, like a, like a remake or a remaster? Or are we talking like also just an updated so that you can build play it on modern? I don't know. Oh, I know it's that's been rated for a PS5 and PS4. My first Gran Turismo. That's what's called. Like a baby what's game. What's what's called? Called? Baby game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my first. My I first know a baby that would love that game. Gran Turismo. <laughs> <laughs> my first uh, Gran Turismo. See. So. Uh, Oh, we'll we'll see that it's like because I know many fans are saying December third, so maybe that might show up as well. It's part of the celebration. You think of Grand Turismo? I think I don't know. These are the same fans that basically thought that we were going to get a uh, Nintendo Direct sometime in October. Where that? Where that come and go? We got the third party one. It did. Yeah, we true. Yeah, it's not the one. Yeah, we got wanted. some. Yeah, it did, it did and we got up. a bunch of social media drops, and all yeah. and two of the three Donkey Kong lands now in the past week. So that's I know what's grass, going on with the, that. The grass. Well, was, it was the 30th, 30th I feel like Nintendo it was the 30th land. anniversary of Donkey Kong Country in particular, plus the Nintendo Country. Land. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is uh, that what it was? Yeah. yeah. So oh. like all of these. uh all of these are like uh, starting to land now, and then they had two E. So now I'm like, well, drop land three and you have to. 64 and Diddy mm. Kong Racing, and then oh we're my good. god, then we're Diddy good. Kong Racing on Nintendo Switch Online. That will be a time. Save. We can oh, all play that. That, be so that would sell. I, I I'd be willing to bet that that would sell quite a bit. Like we're, if we're talking like because I think like us fans, like us Nintendo fans, like like yeah, okay, we play Mario Kart, but like. Diddy Kong Racing, that's that was when you game. knew you were a true yeah. like yeah. Nintendo fan. Well, yeah, drop that on the, the subscription service, and then there's Hell online yeah. play for all the multiplayer already. Hell so we can yes. all play while we're doing a podcast. Imagine if it's a podcast oh, right now. Ooh, wait. Imagine if they do like a like what they did for F Zero and turn it to like Don like uh, Diddy Kong okay. Racing 99. I would love that. There's That'd just so, there's so many the the complications for Diddy Kong Racing 64 stem from the fact that like Banjo Kazooie is yeah. 
and yeah, you, you would have to really right. play nice yeah. with Rare and and Microsoft, obviously. Well, Microsoft's playing nice to everybody. They don't care. That's true. Yeah. 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 Nintendo I mean, Switch I, is an Xbox. Man. I'm, I'm, waiting, waiting, I'm, I'm waiting for that marketing. I'm waiting for that. I, oh. I, saw, I actually <laughs> learned through one of their things. I was like, they're like, this is a pair of Xbox. I'm like, so Xbox is the plural of Xbox. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I'm like, really? You like? I like I'm sorry. I, I'm with Greg Miller on this one. You, like Xbox, you don't own the plural X, X, X Xboxes. Xbox. It's like hey, moves. you can't decide. So like, like, you want. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Say this again. Yeah. So the plural, the plural of Xbox for Xbox is Xbox. Is Xbox. Xbox. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. you, like if no, there's there, an ad if that there are like, two yeah. or more According moves. According to Phil Spencer, it is. You have to. They're just moves. Uh, no. Hold on. Let me no, see if we can find it. Because it, it was it yeah. was a it was an ad that came up. Oh, it's not even coming up on Google Images. What the heck? They've scrubbed it. The AI <laughs> scrubbed has scrubbed it, it because they don't it's want so you to know. Preposterous. Yeah, because basically it's like the, it was a picture of the Xbox Series X and I think the ROG Ally, and it said that this is a pair of Xbox. That was that was the ad. That makes me so viscerally upset. I know, I know. Like, I, I <laughs> <laughs> it, it, does, does this make you upset as well that the xbox uh avatar editor is shutting down due to the yes it's, it's your Listen, fault i'm i'm gonna when's go on a little bit of a rant in? here i'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant here because this really ticks me off this really the last time you logged in? scale one to ten honestly uh about two months ago i went over my avatar stuff now i'm not saying that right now in 2024 <laughs> <laughs> I was the one that flagged them that this thing was still active. <laughs> they saw activity in this corner of the like, Xbox we ecosystem. About like, this. Yeah. Shit, we, we forgot to take this down. But no, this is what irritates me about the Xbox ecosystem is that stuff like the avatars, the um, the the player icons, the, uh, the uh, 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 achievement system, all this stuff that Xbox put so much time and effort into during the Xbox 360 generation, they just abandoned completely for stupid things like Microsoft points. And they just got rid of their entire identity. And when you think of stuff like Fortnite and digital cosmetics and stuff like that, there was a time in the Xbox One generation that that you could go out and buy like, pieces of attire for your avatar and stuff like that and they're like nah let's just not invest more they, time they were rewards too yeah for gaining achievements and like if you got a rare achievement your avatar could rep that prop dude i had an entire top to bottom skin of deathstroke because of something in i think like uh arkham asylum or yeah. something yeah 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 and I don't know. Well, no, they, they're keeping 360. <laughs> yeah, the 360 is actually yeah, sticking around. Which, like, thank cool. God. But it's just such a fundamental fumble on Microsoft's behalf that they just abandoned stuff that just made Xbox what it was back in the day. And now it's just... They added kind of, character and like a absolutely. reason to invest in the ecosystem yeah. for sure. And I think too with building on that, I totally agree with you, Steve, is that I think that they were mishandled because like they basically, they more or less were like thrown in the back. So and then they're like... Oh well, nobody used them. It's like exactly. well, you hit tuck them away. Like I, I don't even know. If, I, I would say I'm a pretty seasoned gamer. Like I would maybe have to like I'd struggle to find it on my console mm -hmm. right now. Like I know, I don't I don't know, know how to access it. I just run. After I know how, game. and I'll tell you, it's a pain in the ass because, to your point, yeah, they 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 relegated to just this afterthought. Like clearly, no one cares anymore because no one should care because they haven't really invested in it in probably ten years at this point. Um. I can only like think back to probably uh, stuff that they did with Quantum Break when it came out. So, like around that kind of era, they kept investing in it in the Xbox One era, and yeah. then they just were like, no, uh, never mind. We're just gonna... used to be upfront, right? Yeah. As soon as you boot up your system with 360, everything, yeah, your character greeted you like, "Hey, what's up? I'm here," or like yeah. any of your friends. You saw he, they were like, "Here's the thing, though. Like, just let me go buy this." You know, the thing is though, is like they they made a lot of mistakes in the Xbox One era. I mean, that's kind of why they're in the position yeah, that they're that in. whole yeah. arrow was a mistake the whole like, yeah. they approached yeah. it and launched it was a bit of a fumble on their part uh because they thought it was more of an entertainment platform than it was a uh yeah. a game had platform. bigger ambitions for it initially yeah. and unfortunately that the, the 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 big consequence of that is as they showed in the or they say in the xbox documentary that or even just phil spencer's even said uh, like publicly it's like yeah we failed the because everyone was was building their digital libraries at that time and we fell behind and now if, like they're they're having to be able to scramble to be able to change their their strategy i think the thing is with xbox is like like this is why i actually really like that this is an xbox ad, like ad campaign because i you think like it's, it's 
This is what you like. This is it. This is a Paramount box. Look at it. Disgusting. This is disgusting. This is not a pair of Xbox. One, two, two Xbox. Ha, ha. Two Xbox. <laughs> yeah. One, two Xbox. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Um, I because I, I, I actually like. I think it really does show that Xbox is kind of moving into a different direction. I like they're they're basically playing the same playbook that Microsoft has been playing for for decades. They mm-hmm. they realize that they're better as a software platform, and they can still make hardware, which they do, which Microsoft does. They have their Surface, they have their whole Surface like Pro line, and they have. All like they still make hardware. It's not like that they gave up on uh, making hardware altogether, but their bread and butter is their software, is their services. So it makes sense for Xbox to kind of go into into that route. Do I think that they're going to stop making Xboxes altogether, like or actual hardware consoles? No, because I think that like we've already seen that with them, like looking into handhelds. I think I I think that their timing is a little off. I think that it should come out next year if they're going to really tap into that market. But I think that. I think it's a really like this is the same thing. This is the thing we've been saying about Xbox all along. When they nail their marketing, they really nail it. They nail their messaging. They nail that everything. Summer showcase. Oh, yeah. oh that's the best oh, showcase I, I think I've probably ever that's seen the in general. Year. This year for them, I would say. But it's been a very like they step on uh, uh, on rake so many times. Oh, so even just Bob this 100%. year alone, like they <laughs> they put their foot in their mouth so often that they're they're constantly having to react it to. Yeah. controversies of their own doing either because yeah. they don't say something or they say something that is completely contradictory of what they said before and th- it's, it's like when they own that message they own it and it makes total sense but it's the people that basically kind of like they're trying to be able to like keep the console war going that they're just like that's what the controversy comes from but i don't know i, I think it i think we're definitely like we're we're in now a different xbox era than like i think it's just we're just in a bit of growing pains with as they sort of figure things out um because they're breaking out of that console cycle and that takes time that takes money and you're unfortunately gonna have to take a hit a few hits here and there in order to be able to break out of that constant not making money off of hardware cycle yeah i completely agree they're in a they're in an interesting transition phase right now where they are trying everything as an xbox so i mean you kind of and you can infer where they're going with this like indiana jones is coming out on ps5 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nintendo has a new console coming out i don't know if you saw during their latest financial briefing, but they listed a bunch of partners that are going to be present on this next platform and Microsoft is front and center. So we're going to see a lot from them on other platforms. And this is all part of the initiative to get their services on everything. Yeah. That, I mean, everything will be an Xbox eventually if you look at it from that lens. So yeah, I think, I think they've, it's just in a weird spot right now. I, I, I do is. hope they kind of get it together, but it is like, when you're toting wins from a $69 billion acquisition in the last year, and that's kind of like you're resting the entirety of the business on that. It's like, that's cool. It's like, that'll get you so far. Like you need to get everything going full swing. So I, I I'm optimistic, but I do think it's like a weird transition phase. And then once uh, now that COD's out, uh, Microsoft flight sim is out and working now, which is great. And mm-hmm, then yeah. Indiana Jones, and then we're going to have a vowed and then we're going to have fable and then we're going to have, perfect dark and then I have doom there's war Here. and doom yeah. yeah so it's like okay so like we're really starting to gear up now which is yeah. exciting yeah. it is exciting. I, I i like this um this whole you know marketing beat and everything i think it has a very strong messaging strong you know just image and really does kind of dictate where my xbox and microsoft is going my issue and i i can't say this is an original thought because it came from jess gordon and uh, riley we talked about this uh, quickly a while ago but like his whole point when this came out was like this is just not true none of like aside from an xbox none of this is an xbox because they still fundamentally do not support play anywhere to its full potential mm-hmm. i can't take my xbox library with me on my phone I can't do it on my PC. I can't do it on the uh, ROG Ally. So until well, now I can, you can have... Now you can somewhat. No, I can't. Uh, well, with the 50 plus game or that's the 50 it. games that they announced, like that's, that's my point. That's that's 50 games. That's not my Xbox. And until right, my that's, Xbox that's is an Xbox, yeah. it's just not fundamentally true. It's, I, starting, it's starting to become your Xbox. <laughs> it, yeah. Sure, but we don't <laughs> oh, have a way to be my Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. you're absolutely right. It is yeah. not the... Oh, yeah. It is not the premium Xbox experience that I think Xbox will always be doing. I think like if you, they're like, 
yes, you can play Xbox games on a phone, on a TV, on on a laptop, on whatever, and and like on a on a handheld system. And then, but I could still see them saying like, if you want the premium Xbox experience, you get the console. And I could definitely see them like that's part of their mo. Like it's just yeah, sure. you can play Xbox anywhere, but. The best experience is at is at home on your console. Like I think that that they'll always like until they get to a point where they don't need it the console anymore, which I could see them potentially doing. I don't see like that that it's not a out of that a question. But I agree with you. Yeah, like it's it's not the best experience now. But as we said, it's like it's a transition period, and that transition period is very messy. Absolutely, but yeah, but that's why where i'm trying to get it like, oh sorry, so sorry. Point, no 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 it was just it was just that yeah we're we're in this kind of weird transition period where obviously the goal the, the goal post is down the line and everything we know where they're going but right now it is kind of fictitious to be like well my phone's an xbox but it's just not you're just playing an xbox game that you yeah. might own or you might yeah. just have to suck it up and be like well it's on the the service so i guess i'll play it it's but that they're definitely into it yeah. exactly but yeah, until yeah. we get to the point where i'm playing a vow on my xbox i'm like oh it's bedtime i'm gonna go lie in bed pull up on my phone and have my save there locked and loaded and then the next day back on my xbox here on my pc until they they have that full unified vision of play anywhere xbox is an ecosystem on all platforms this advertisement just kind of sticks out to me as like we're still so far away like mm, we'll, we'll, i think there's enough there that i think because this is this 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 marketing campaign isn't aimed at for people like us, like no. that we're, we're right. in the industry. Yeah. We know it in in and out. We know what Xbox is doing. We know what PlayStation's doing. We somewhat know what Nintendo's doing. But I, I think this is that ad, ad campaign is for everyone else that sort of like thinks that it, you just need an Xbox in order to be able to play an Xbox. That's true. Uh, it, it is designed to be like, oh, that's what video games are like now. You can play. I can play. X, I can play games on my phone. Like beyond just the the Candy Crush, whatever that people would automatically think of, that's the games you can play on your phone. No, you can play full games on your phone via Xbox Play Anywhere or Xbox uh, Cloud Gaming, whatever. Like there is an Xbox experience on each of those things. Yep. It's not the full experience, not the hundred percent experience, but it fills those holes in that spectrum. That I think to anybody who is in being introduced into the xbox platform they could basically see oh i could play i could i could i could could play call of duty on my phone right now like the latest call of duty and all i have to do is pay like a 15 20 bucks a month for subscription heck yeah i'm like in this economy hell yeah like it just i'm I'm, yeah i'm really interested on that point too it's like do you just buy well they would just buy a month when they could have made 90 dollars off the sale of a call of duty like like long term, we we will know for a while. But well, they did already I, I, have. I do, I'm very curious. They did already have sales numbers like for October, um, and mm-hmm. Call of Duty was the number They're one game, right? Yeah. Uh, majority. They did say a majority of that was I think it was PlayStation, but I think they did see that. Uh, and this is internally at from Activision, but they also did put this out publicly. Is that it was like the number one most played game on uh, on Game Pass mm-hmm. uh, for the month of October for the like for thirty days. And I think it uh, it increased uh, Game Pass subscription sales by like twelve point four percent just from that game alone. So, and that's for October. Like that's and 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 Call of Duty came out on the twenty fifth. So that's only for six days uh, within the first week. Now, granted, does that we'll we'll see how what uh, what their sales numbers yeah. are like in November if they still stay on top. Um, but we'll like that will be I think the true test because I think like October is kind of like that weird month for them. But so far. The 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 gamble of putting Call of Duty on Game Pass and on everything else still is paying off. Like it's still like it didn't really it didn't really change that much other than just where people are playing. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. I think what the numbers I'll be most intrigued to see is like the stick around numbers. Retention yeah. is yeah, yeah, like what's the retention yeah. rate? Because that's gonna be that is gonna define whether or not they keep doing that. Sure. Because if it's just like we didn't scale it meaningfully, like they could be in trouble if they if it did scale and maintains. People are like, hey, I like the service. You know, it gives me all these other games too. And I get Indiana Jones in December. So I'm gonna keep it for another month and I'll mm-hmm. keep it for another month because Avowed come is coming out, and then oh, I'll keep it for another month for Perfect Dark or Fable, like on and on and on and on. Yeah. Like the value proposition has to be it has to always be constant for something like that because if netflix came out with a big show or a movie 
And they're like, well, that's it. It's like, okay, well, I, I think I well, might keep myself. They have that's a sort of the same thing with Netflix shows too. They're like, I just want to watch this one show, and then they just yeah. like that. That I mean, that's always true. gonna happen no yeah. matter what. I I, I think that. Because Netflix had this had the same thing where they didn't have like uh, a, a lot of content, uh, original content at the very beginning. Because basically you had like House of Cards, and then you had Stranger Things. But that took that that gap in between the two was kind of was was was, was a, I think I think it was pretty I think it was at least about a year or two before in between the two. If I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think that. Now I would uh, I like to say oh this was part of the all part of the master plan I think it just it just was happy circumstance that it happens with the way the schedule as you said like with Indiana Jones avowed like it's now it's at a point where each month ish there's a good like game coming out that kind of like keeps people re like retain onto the platform um, I don't think that they planned it specifically that way uh, proper, like purposely because a lot of games kind of got delayed and switched around and stuff like that. But I think now it's in a good, like it's in a good position that yeah, call of duty was that kind of that now big, like salvo being like getting people on the platform and then retention, re keeping people, Oh, we got Indiana Jones coming up. Oh, but cause I think it's like that first month, they're, people are going to play around with Game Pass. They're like, oh, they realize what other things are on Game Pass, and they can try a bunch of the different stuff. So they're playing around with the different, like uh, all the different uh, games that are there. And then all of a sudden, December hits, and oh, it's Indiana Jones. Now we can like, I can play that. And then you know, January, February hits. It's like then we got a vow. Then you, as you said, we get Fable, we get Doom, we get all yeah. like. So there's always going to be something now on the line for them. And if they can keep that up, that's great. That's great to be able to get for retention. But it re like. I think, unfortunately, as soon as one of those doesn't hit, isn't big, it doesn't a big hit? I think that that's gonna be that's gonna be trouble for for Xbox. Like, yeah. unfortunately, just the way the landscape is, like if it's not a hit, no one's gonna play it. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna have a lot of next year, especially as there's gonna be a lot of a competition uh, between Nintendo sure. launching a new platform, Grand Theft Auto Six, PlayStation's gonna have, uh, I would assume, a really good year as well. Um, I mean, it's which is, it's not a bad thing. Competition's great, but yeah, it's great for us, but, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting year. I'm, I'm curious to see if they can scale it and get their subscription model onto other hardware, which is where the core gaming consumer is like they're on PC. They can get that. That's great. That's a great consumer to tap into, but you gotta, gotta, gotta be, have that service on switch and PlayStation in a similar, similar way that Grand Theft Auto plus like operates or Ubisoft plus operates on those platforms as well or playstation in particular but like those once you can get that game pass model rolling in some capacity i'm not sure what form it would ultimately take but some sort of subscription on those platforms you're going to be in a lot in a lot better space to like really scale them meaningfully so well i guess we'll see i'm, I'm curious to see what the retention rate on cod is um, Unfortunately, yep. I just don't know if we'll ever really know because, of course, Microsoft Activision, Maybe they're going to, yeah. th but they're, they're only going to support their wins, right? They're going to come out on October and be like, hey, yes. this was the biggest launch ever. And then yeah, never talk about did. it ever again, <laughs> indicating that those follow up stats just aren't. Well, if Call of Duty is not on it next year, I think we might have an idea that it wasn't what they wanted. That is true. But yeah, I mean, like, I, what would really be the difference if, like, if they just pull it from Game Pass? Like the next, like COD. Yeah, uh, everyone, yeah. everyone would take it as an L. Or, like that's or, or like, an, ex like, like an extension, like be like, mm -hmm. oh, it's already like a Activision catalog for yeah. X. You know, yeah, because they don't have it. Like they already have it on other platforms. Like literally, that's the only thing they could do that that'd be different is just not put it up on Game Pass or. And, th and this is the one that's only on Ultimate too, right? That's like, right. It's not yeah. like yeah, okay. yes, yeah. yeah. I forgot they have their whole like Ultimate. And there, well, and is there, is there unless you got one? legacy in, I think was part of the deal. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, with any day one, there's going to be only ultimate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. there's no time frame of like when it will show up on six yes, to ten. twelve months, depending on the title. Yeah. 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 By that time, probably, it'll probably go on multi plat by the, like by the, you know? if it's not already. Like. If it's not already, you know. So, but uh, talking about Sony. Sony has started uh, uh, working on a portable console capable of playing PlayStation 5 games, according to Bloomberg. I don't know why I always say it like that, Bloomberg. Uh, so Sony, said, Sony is said to be considering to move in order to compete with Nintendo's dominance in the handheld console. Is Nintendo still dominating, you think? 
They were dominating. Yeah, they were dominating. Sure. Yeah. They like yeah. one of the best selling consoles of all time. Yeah, and uh, ahead of a uh, co- competition from Xbox, which has indicated that the, uh, that is exploring the idea of a handheld. Microsoft uh, Gaming CEO Phil Spencer had reported earlier. Uh, so, when do you think we're going to see the system? I mean, too little, too late is my that was <laughs> about to was, my next point. Sure yeah, um, now you know they're too late to the party. You know, yeah. I, honestly, it doesn't really have anything to do with the competition, in my opinion. It has to do with the fact that from this report, and if we're just taking this on face value of what uh, mm-hmm. the report says, is that this whole thing is going to be primarily used to you like to play PlayStation Five games remotely on your handheld on the go and everything like that this to me rings of a different handheld that playstation once brought out which was the playstation vita which the original vision for that was oh play your play playstation 3 light games play playstation 4 it seems to me really strange that you would want to curate and build a brand new piece of ha- handheld gaming uh ostensibly when the PlayStation 5 is kind of winding down and you almost be thinking about when's PlayStation 6 so to me I'm kind of like well, do people even kind of care about something like that right now? You already have the portal on top of this. Uh, you also have remote play on other pieces of hardware. I'm just kind of no. even taking off the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, all this other stuff, whether or not Microsoft wants to get in this field at all. I'm just kind of hesitant to believe that PlayStation will come out, support this thing like it did with the Vita, PS. VR, PSVR 2, like all this stuff just rings of we thought of an idea and executed far too late for this to become a big thing within our catalog. Here's here's my my thinking on it. it I, I agree with you 100%. It's it, 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 in that it's a little too, like too little too late. Um, they like if, if Xbox and PlayStation were like were smart, they would have had to they would have had a handheld come out next year um, so, yeah, exactly. because Right now we're looking at minimum 2026, 2027 for if PlayStation said like it, there's like oh it's a couple years out. That's minimum that they're gonna get something out to market um mm-hmm. of, of any type of handheld. And already they're gonna be several years behind. If they want if they were like if, if PlayStation was really like we wanna, you know, compete with Nintendo, where have they been for the past like 11 years? I'm like seriously. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And right, because right now, if it if neither of them come out with a handheld next year, they I think that that mark that there is potential for that handheld market to essentially uh, to potentially fall like fall like it's good, they're going to see the NIF sales numbers go down because uh, because right now it's I it's hold like the the rest of the handhelds the allies the Steam decks the uh, the Lenovo's the MSI like they are going to have to prop up that in that sort of side of the market if they're going to if people are going to continue to keep like investing in the handheld gaming side uh like if if steam deck comes out with one next year i think it has a good chance of uh, of an xbox handheld and a playstation handheld to be successful if they come out with one like in a couple years from now there is a really big chance that that basically the handheld market could dry up um and this is coming from someone who has pretty much every handheld like right now uh, except for the MSI and, and Lenovo, but um, I, I think it's like it, it, you're really, you're really hope like Xbox and PlayStation. You're really hoping that that handheld is get, like market's going to stay, going to be still be there by the time that they come to market. And that's a big, that's a big F. Um, like it's yeah. it's growing exponentially, uh, but I mean, even Valve has come out and said that they're not they're they're not going to like make a Steam Deck two unless it war like unless the technology warrants it. Like they they've already they said that they're not going to be releasing a new Steam Deck every single year like they would for phones. Like they're going to make one when they when they decide it, 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 that they can be able to make a Steam Deck two. If it comes out next year, great. Then I think we're okay. But if it doesn't. That's a year of other other companies and other uh, other handhelds kind of holding up the market. And unless there's anything new coming out that's going to wow people and kind of get more people into the handheld gaming side, I think this switch like and then this I'm not even counting the switches. The switch is a completely different ball game altogether. We're not like nothing yeah. really competes with Switch because you can only play Switch games on it. That's right. I yeah. think it's just where Xbox and PlayStation are focusing on are the folks who are in the handheld market outside of Nintendo. And that's dangerous to basically be like a couple years out. That's why I was kind of like surprised that Bill was like, oh, we're still a little ways out. We're still researching. I'm like, 
dog, you should have come well, out with this like next year already. Well, I think Xbox is in a way, way, way better position than PlayStation ever yeah, is sure. with the with the handheld department because realistically speaking, they have other people making their Xbox handhelds right now. ROG yeah. Ally is taking all the brunt and, and weight off Microsoft's shoulders because if Microsoft comes out and they're like, well, we put out a handheld, it didn't sell. We've got three others already on the market yeah. and already mm -hmm. in your hands. doesn't matter. Um, but PlayStation, they have to come out and nail this. Otherwise, once again, they're the laughing stock because they put in an accessory no one wants and they didn't support it. And that's it's almost becoming like the uh, the graveyard of Google uh, applications and stuff like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's getting to that kind of like meme -y potential. Um, and besides that, like for Microsoft to come out with a handheld, all they have to do is play nice with Microsoft with Windows 11 and and software like that. PlayStation has to come out with their own handheld like software, their own UI, replicate stuff that's already on the play. Like it's it's all built from scratch in yeah. such a way that it it feels to your point, Steve. Like yeah, they they should have had this locked and loaded, ready to go for even to launch like maybe alongside the PlayStation 5 Pro, just to say hey, we're in this mid gen refresh era. Boom, here you go. Here's everything you need. New earbuds, new headphones, new handheld that can actually run your games. But yeah. which they yeah. kind of have if you have a premium subscription, like you can stream games to to your portal, which is but you're paying like 190 bucks a year in order to be able to get access to that. And even then it's like you still again, you still having to be able to stream from your PlayStation or no, you could stream it from the cloud, but again, you have to have like you, have, you can't download it to your system. I think you're right. right. Absolutely right. I think xbox has an opportunity if they can create their own like xbox os that is available to all the handheld markets like with the, the to, for the msi lenovo rog uh and whoever wants to be able to create a handheld uh in the in the market if they could basically be like hey here's our xbox os uh you could totally install it or just use this as an app that if they come out with that next year a proper like mobile handheld experience whether it's just that or just a better mobile version of windows 11 uh i think that that is going to be that's what's going to propel folks to be like okay once xbox does come out with the handheld that's going to be like okay now this is our per, like preferred experience yeah. and how to be able to play xbox games but you're right playstation is i, I, I think it, the they're strung up by their own ass because essentially they're they're playing within their own wheelhouse they're only playing within playstation and that's been their mo the whole time which hey could be argued it's a, like successful because Obviously, they've got play, like uh, the, the the PlayStation Five is extremely selling well uh, compared to uh, the other competitors. But um, I, I like they're still in that regular like console cycle, uh, and I think you're right. It's like if 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 you're if you're already kind of like putting out a, a handheld at a time when people already look into PS Six, what is what does that mean for the handheld? Is it going to die like the Vita did again, or? Is it just like you're making like you're making the same mistakes, or are you trying to be able to do something new? Whereas I think Xbox again with their strategy of playing anywhere doesn't matter, available everywhere. I think that that's what's going to keep that longevity going for that when the handheld does come out, people are going to buy it. Whereas with PlayStation, yeah. I think people are only going to buy it if they're like, well, yeah, I think I would want to be able to play PlayStation like games on the go. Yeah, it's it's interesting to me because, like, to your point, Steve, uh, the what reason it works for Nintendo is Nintendo's all in on that platform. Yeah. So it's like that's it for them. Like, if you want if you want Mario Kart or Zelda or anything, like that's it. That's what you have to buy. So for them, it's a little easier. Whereas, like, the Steam Deck can play some PlayStation games. So it is like a little bit different, right? But that said, mm -hmm. like, if you can mirror some of the success of the Portal, maybe you have a hybrid that can download some games. You got classics and stuff like that. And then you can also uh, stream some of the higher end PS6 games. If that's the console out at that time, like you have like a portal hybrid that might work a little better for them. Uh, and unlike the Vita or even the PSVR, like you don't have to design software from the ground up for the, this for peripheral like that. Like you're scaling it relative to the same sort of system. So it's like we kind of see them doing that already between two titles in terms of like Lego Horizon Adventures, which also released on Switch. Mm -hmm. um, which is a like a totally different skew, essentially. They were able to get it running on that. And then MLB The Show, which is routinely released on mm -hmm. uh, different hardware. So and we kind of see them too. splitting. Yeah, yeah. Like we're, we're kind of seeing them try out different tiers to what they're able to scale in, on, on that stuff. So 
I am really curious to see when and if they end up seeing it as a value add for their ecosystem and how much further down the road they're going to go with like the PC stuff. I would imagine we'll probably get to a point where it's day and date with a yeah, lot of the multiplayer sure. stuff in particular. So I, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. I I'm surprised that both of them, Xbox and PlayStation are, are, aren't further along in the yeah. research for that because yeah. it seemed kind of obvious, but if Xbox they were, is they're able to act quick on Nintendo Wii, when we came out, everyone's like, here's my sensor. Here's my camera. Yep. Like, yep. Mm-hmm. like, like yeah. right away. It was, and, yeah. and from well, what Sorry, Riley, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, like trend chasing versus trend setting is very different. You know, like, mm-hmm. like, and if you're chasing the trend too late, like, you're going to lose a ton of money. Whereas Nintendo yeah. was like, what about this hybrid idea? And it, it just did gangbusters for them because they were able yeah. to, like, just, just refine their pipeline into doing two consoles. They're, they're just doing one, and they have a game every single month. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. They're like yeah. a fact. And now I look at the market and, now. <laughs> and what I was yeah. going to yeah. say is... Ex- exactly springboarding off that is that i don't like this trend as someone who loves playstation this trend of them being reactive and i i think that's every single time that puts them in such a bad position when playstation vr came out and it was a relative commercial success they waited way too long and they're like oh we should be doing a a follow-up to this and it took way too long and the market reacted accordingly this and from the the report This whole idea to kind of actively develop and bring a new handheld to market is only because of the PlayStation Portal. What they should have done is just said, hey, you know this Nintendo Switch that's been taking off since 2017? Maybe we do our own. Maybe we don't sit on our ass for five years and then say, well, okay, we'll release a half measure. Oh, that's a success? Oh, shit, people actually wanted a Vita. Crazy. (laughs) Wild stuff. I I think that that was what was kind of what held them back because uh, the the fact that they would release the Vita it did not sell as well as what well whatever sales numbers that Sony wanted to have out of out of that um, they expected it to be a huge success it didn't um, it was successful for 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 definitely for other players like ourselves but yeah. for the for the general market it didn't. So I I think that for them to be able to like see the handheld gaming market now. I definitely think that it was sort of a just they were risk averse. I don't think that they wanted like they they wanted to repeat themselves with another with a, a Vita two and it and it and it doesn't work and it and it fails. I mean, I think that's probably why that they were very slow and and and, and like they're kind of dipping their toe a little bit with the portal and be like, well, here's something. I think that's their reactive of being like, here's something and kind of seeing what the market does and whether I, I don't know like have you guys seen any sales numbers as far as how well the portal's been been doing since uh, uh, launched earlier above expectations oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. above expectations that's yeah. hey then that's great i think that that show that that is what's showing uh sony okay if it's selling well now we should start investing in a proper in a proper handheld i think xbox on the other hand i think that they were i don't think that they were ready for like even to to, to because they never made a handheld they don't know what that's what what that's like um, they, they don't know what the market's like for, for them to Xbox to create one. Uh, I think it took basically the, the, the success of the steam deck for them to be like, Oh, Hey, like when, basically once Phil kind of liked the idea, he's like, yeah, we should do that. And I, I, that's why I think that like, cause I was, the question I was going to ask you guys is like, do you think that, what do you think comes out first? So do you think the Xbox or the, or PlayStation? My personal thing is I think Xbox would, um, I think like we'll an Xbox app will come out first. And like, this is why I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head why we still need an Xbox handheld if they just can make a dedicated app that will allow you to download the game and everything. Uh, I think there's a sense of ownership over having your UI, having your ecosystem built into it and stuff like that, especially if you can moderate it to a reasonable price on the market. I think that's just an absolute win for Microsoft and Xbox. Um, And then you can kind of, you know, capitulate and say oh you come come to our piece of hardware for the best uh experience possible and then leave you know the rog ally to kind of run like it does or whatever yeah, um, yeah. same reason why playstation would want to do the same thing and not yeah. just give you know valve a playstation app or something like that you know i know that's so weird it's like they they have like you have to do like so many like weird uh steps in order to be able to get game pass working on a steam deck it's like why don't you just 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 can't you just develop an yeah. app? <laughs> yeah. Or just have the Xbox app on there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like, you can out, outside like of an the Xbox app on, on, on Steam. Like that that's not hard. 
outside of the xbox the xbox ecosystem just runs like it's it's oh, it's true. limping on That's one bad. leg like yeah, it's, yeah, it's just so the fact you can still buy bad. games off the microsoft store i'm like why is that a thing if there's an the xbox app <laughs> i know yeah you know what's weird my xbox like it keeps telling me there's an update from the microsoft store on my on my series x oh all and the time. It, never, it can never download it's like a two megabyte download it can never download it always says it fails and every time I open up the Microsoft store, it's just like, ah, it needs an update. And I'm like, okay, great, never, cancel. Never and it works all fine. that's every date is the update, according to the Xbox <sighs> app. I'm like, how is this even possible? I, I, nothing, I was thinking it was the same has, update. Nothing <laughs> what did changed. you even change? <laughs> nothing has changed except for the background. You changed to Call of Duty colors. That's it. Like, was that the update? <laughs> <laughs> great thanks 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 papa xbox appreciate it uh, i just out of curiosity if let's just say let's just go to another let's, let's pick a timeline here that a beta whatever beta 5 came out and the xbox handheld x came out what does this mean for nintendo nothing i what? think they would nothing. they're they're, they're already like, going to be close to market <laughs> like they like, would already be out for yeah, they'll, like they'll be out years probably a year or two by then and yeah. at that point it's like Oh yeah, I, I guess I could buy this and play Spider Man Two that came out five years ago, or I, could, yeah, I right. mean any game really. But yeah, I, yeah, you know, it's like oh, but like this has the new Mario Kart and this has Smash Brothers and this has this and oh, it maybe it plays Halo already too. So it's, I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. I they'll be fine. I think they they are they're really scaling their ecosystem in a smart way right yeah. now. Yeah, the, the and everything part goes of, over. The Finally, funniest part right. of this whole entire like reporting and the, the framing of it all is that playstation's doing this to rival the switch when nintendo just yeah. doesn't even give a shit like they're not even no, looking at playstation vicinity no. it's it's like david going Everyone after goliath and goliath looking over and be like who who are you like <laughs> it's yeah. the thanos meme of like i don't even know who you are, you are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's very true like they haven't cared about the uh, Xbox or even like PlayStation no. ecosystem since the Wii. And why days, would so like, they? <laughs> yeah, and I think I think they kind of complement each other to be honest. Like they're just yes. different. So I think that's why you're seeing PlayStation bring like Lego Horizon over, and it's published yeah. by PlayStation Studios right on Switch. It's like that. I would love to see the sales numbers for like how really how well. Like unfortunately, that. we're not going to get the best sales numbers because you know they never report digital sales. Um, yeah. But I love to be able to see the physical sales of that. Yeah, I, I think it'll be interesting. The holiday season will be a good tell for them too, because like Lego traditionally sells really well on Nintendo hardware for obvious reasons. It's a bit more of a family brand, but yeah, I, I'm very curious to see how how that does for them and if it incentivizes them to maybe do that again with other similar titles. I, I don't expect Spider Man on Nintendo anytime soon, if ever. So. Maybe there's another like ch- kid friendly, maybe like an Astrobot type of thing that well, could work. Well, technically, he's playing. there. No, Lissac boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. For <laughs> Fall Guys, you could be Astrobot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot, there's some crossover there. I think we'll probably see more of it too. I mean, it, it's just smart business for them. It kind of expands their audience. It's one they wouldn't have touched otherwise. So, yeah. Well, yeah. that's fair. Uh, well, with that being said, I guess that's uh, it's light week. Anything well, else wait, to- talking about Fortnite, they announced the next season. Godzilla's in it, guys. Uh, Come on, Max. <laughs> what about Baymax? <laughs> Baymax, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah well, like, oh. Wait, are we going to play as Godzilla, or is that going to be the big event? I think that's the Apparently, event. Apparently, you're going to be able to be Godzilla. Wait, what? That I want. How Apparently, you get to be Godzilla. In- you can barely get Ripley and Smash, but yet we can be Godzilla in Fortnite. <laughs> yep. Godzilla's everywhere right now. He's in Dave the Diver. Yeah, he was yeah, in Call of 70, Duty. 70th anniversary, I think. 70th, yeah, something like that. 75th. Did they pull him away? They pulled him away from Dave the Diver or soon? Yeah, they, he's, they, they, they soon. Do yeah. Me now, unfortunately, but it's kind of quick. But yeah, it was a quick. Licenses turnaround. are tough. I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I still haven't played Dave the Diver. I haven't. It's either. pretty cool. I was. Uh, I played a bit of Indie it. Game of the year. Of Best ongoing game. Isn't that interesting that basically that's not like that there was no controversy around that? Like it seems that there's always a different controversy around the game awards. No matter there was like a little bit of background controversy on indie games. What was the controversy this time? Dave the Diver is not indie. Yeah, that's what that was. No, 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 no. I'm not talking. I'm talking this year. Sorry. Last year, yes, 100 percent That was the controversy of like whether Dave the Diver is indie. But like I was asking, is there one that like this year, other than like countries this year, other than the Elden Ring thing, no, because uh, 
other Alatro is just sweeping the nation, and now everyone's oh, playing Alatro, Alatro a, fever. No. You got it. You got you caught <laughs> the got the fever, Riley. You're I, looking it's good. good. I, I got it on Steam. I got it on Steam just so I don't get addicted. I'm just like I'll keep it there. I'll get it on your phone. I have it on my phone. Uh, I'm not I gonna download my phone. Either. I have it on my I have it on my Switch. I'm debating on getting it on Steam just so I could be able to like play it on my uh, on a hand. I don't know. I'm I'm get it on your phone. No, but I don't have a good. I want to play my phone. I still Listen, my phone, my phone I need. I use my phone full for circle. I, I, I can't. Full I circle can't. moment because Xbox Play Anywhere does support Balatro, so I can actually now oh. take my progress onto my phone. We're winning. We're winning, is boys. There, is there cro- game like, of the like, year? You popping Chivos on the go? (laughs) (laughs) That achievement list is really tough once you get through the basic ones. Really? Yeah. There's like a progress, like story based. Like you can save. Like, is there? Is there? Like, how does this game work? I I haven't really looked at it properly. Like, is there like a save? Like, like, oh, I reach a level. Let me save here. Is there like? Well, you're going. It's like a roguelike. So you're going through runs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But and you're unlocking decks as you go. Any cards. any any previous hand, like your last hand, automatically saves. So you can shut the game down. Oh, you can okay. come back. It's automatic. Like nothing, nothing. Oh, that like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. It, it has a very favorable. Is there a cross save? No. So that's the issue right now. Is that it's mm-hmm. coming probably in the 2025 update. Um, but that's the reason. Why. Hanging out with all his friends, Jimbo. Hey, Jimbo, local <laughs> thumb. That's Stop hanging out with your friends, Jimbo. <laughs> that's why I said I said they need to add Jimbo to Fortnite. That's such a good poll, though. Oh yeah, be so <laughs> funny. That, that like holographic variants of them and stuff like that. It'd be yeah. pretty funny. I think See, that's I, I, I want Aladro to win suggested. just so local thunk has to get on stage. Just so yes. that he has to do a face reveal. Just yeah, so definitely can... are they they're nominated for indie, right? As well. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. they're winning, yeah, they're they're winning they're gonna, awards. They're, gonna, they're sure they're like, gonna win that. Usually they breeze through that one. They don't have anyone pop up on stage for that. Uh it depends. For indie. It's, it's always ra- it's, it's usually Jimbo random. Moment. But if it, he it was here, he has to show up. Or someone representing him. Just a, it's going to be because they did this because sure. that, that's isn't that what happened? With, well, not this to say this is that this is absolutely even close wow. to being comparable. But the Canadian Game Awards didn't they have a representative for Tunic come up every like there it was never actually the guy. Cuphead, so true, yeah. Yeah, Co Cuphead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Studio MDHR did not even show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like twenty minutes where someone else came from another province. <laughs> yeah, they're like twenty minutes away. <laughs> they're twenty minutes away. They're like we're not showing up to this show. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as well well steve vita too what's going on uh i'm headed to vegas on sunday for oh, a full week yeah. with amazon gonna Ooh, be uh, in the, nice. uh, the arizona desert that'll be a lot of fun but uh yeah i'll sadly not be here next week but we'll be back just before we all take off of the game awards don't go that's crazy don't leave don't uh don't tell me what to fucking do <laughs> okay. Whoa. how about that I, I thought that was gonna be a good bro moment being like, oh. you know, like hey don't go yeah, yeah. You know, don't, don't try to control me yeah wow wow how about you mind your fucking business over there okay yeah like, that's <laughs> my bad i'm gonna try to find it's, it's totally cool and you not go <laughs> now I understand why the, the Riley can't get another game awards. I'm just yeah, the, 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 yeah. I, because because yeah. Steve is just so mean. Yeah, I, <laughs> I understand. I totally so understand. Mean. Now you know, I also know why I'm not staying in the same hotel as these guys. Like I'm just I, like, oh, <laughs> I know I would have been a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> You're missing out because then I'm getting the protection from Steve. You know, like right. Can you get the fuck out of my room, please. <laughs> yeah. <Small laughs> yeah, when someone comes yeah. opening your door next time, you want Steve the bodyguard. There. You want Steve <laughs> there. Like, <laughs> What do you think you're doing here? What the hell up? Pop up my chest. Steve small doses Vegvari. Steve <laughs> <laughs> uh, Taylor, what's going on for you for the rest of the week? Uh, this week, I'm basically continuing uh, uh, my morning show, Morning Coffee with Steve, on my YouTube channel uh, at Steve Saylor. Uh, I'll be taking a break for the con- for American Thanksgiving just because there's never going to be any news on on th- uh, Thanksgiving at that point. So You're not American, you get back to work. What are you doing? What am I going to talk about? I'm just going to be sitting there twiddling my thumb for a half an hour yeah, while there's like no news or Canadian news. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that. all right. You, you, okay. You, you want to point me towards Canadian news on those days, on Thursday and Friday? Don't By tell all me means. Yeah, huh? Don't yeah, tell me what to fucking do. do. <laughs> <laughs> fine. All right. I don't care. All right. All right. That's fine. And, you know. Then we've then, established then. this. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm the bad boy on the podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> the wild card bad yeah. boy. Start showing up with a letter yeah. back yeah. in his cigarette. Yeah. And <laughs> and and next episode and everything. Boy. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna tell oh, you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell Ant on you. Uh, <laughs> well, he's the guy care. who walks into a party, doesn't say anything to anyone, and punches the jukebox. <laughs> That's Steve. Yeah. That's Steve. Yeah. yeah. No, and that, and then. Um, uh, I mean, I, I'm gonna try. To... Why are you hitting it? <laughs> Just punches I'm, it. Starts playing your favorite song. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I'm going to be working on uh, the edit for uh, my Dungeon Disabled uh, episode from Linville Manor, which was the haunted house we went to. Um, so far, I've got it edited down to two hours and 17 minutes. So I've got to still keep editing that alone. But that's a brisk, uh, watch. That's a brisk watch. I did. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be good. It probably I'm hoping to be able to have it bef- out before the game awards. Let's just say what, that. So, what, what, like, what are you trying to com- compact it down to? Like, yeah, the really, it's tr- like a, like three hours. Yeah, two the hours game, good. the game itself is like equals out to about two hours seventeen. So I'm keeping that as sort of like the the how the the main length. The the stuff I'm trying to be able to add in is all the ghost stuff that happened around us while we were playing. So we got some okay. stuff, to, some evidence and stuff that we're kind of like uh, that I'm trying to be able to edit in. Um, that I, I'm like that take it is taking a while because I never done that stuff before. So I'm just trying to be able to to figure out how to be able to best edit add it to the edit, but uh, and not really like mess up with the narrative in a way because it's the whole it's a it's never been done before. So I don't have a template to go off of. Uh, so I'm I'm just that's why it's taking me a little bit longer to be able to to put together and because I'm the only editor. It's all on me to do it, so it's it's good. There's a lot of stuff that happens, like especially right at the very like the first half. Like there's there's a lot of stuff. Like, I'm I've excited to watch it. I've got yeah. like literally notes of just times that people like a friend of mine was just picking up on one little device that we were using, like for the whole entire two hours. So cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. Riley, so. how about yourself? More Black Friday stuff, man. Pretty much that, and. Uh, I'm gonna play some more Bellatro. It's got me. It's got its hooks in me. I'm in it now. (laughs) Got him. (laughs) I'm in. Still doing that. I, although I am, I'm getting back into Alan Wake too, though, guys. I uh, I just finished the I Night saw Springs. You finished it, yeah. No, well, I, I finished the Night Springs DLC. Yeah. I haven't been to Lake House yet. Oh, uh, you're in for a ride. I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. And apparently, Where, are you on the Xbox or PlayStation? I know PlayStation's getting Xbox. an update soon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, also, Fortnite season starts on Sunday, December first. So oh, right, I'm locked right. in. I'm locked in for it. Cool, 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 cool. I'm still dealing with Dragon Age. Like me this, too. I haven't this touched game. it yet. I've been like wanting to jump in, but I haven't. I haven't started it yet. It's How far not, are you, Marcel? What's your, uh, what's your progress? I finished part ten. Okay, I yeah. think we're right around. I'm. I'm yeah. just just getting to the point of no return. So I'm just like trying to do okay, all my yeah. companion missions and stuff like that. I, well, I that's can what tell keeps, on... like like because most games I'm just like okay I don't care about the side quest anymore. Let me just finish this story. Yeah. This one I'm like oh I kind of this one has a check mark. Let me go. Let me go deal with this. This one has another check mark. This yeah. one's like come out and hang out with me. Who's your uh, who's your love interest? Uh, Nev. You get Nev. Oh yeah. okay um, okay. You don't understand here. All right. I feel like Nev has the longest route to like companionship. Yes, I agree. Because I had they were with me the entire time, yep. and then uh, just and then like T- Tosh has the shortest route. It takes like three three missions. Boom! Like, you Boom. just look She's at Tosh. You. Tosh is like, I'm with you. I'm gonna growl you. All right, whatever. You know, Nev. I'm like, what the hell? I, I've been with I. You've been with me the whole time. You know who ended up with Nev? The guy with the demon in him. Oh. <laughs> And you know how he did it? He's like, he's like, oh, here's. I got that demon in me. I got that dog in me. Yeah, that that dog's in me too. I get it. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, here's tea and pie. Oh, you remember which pie I like? Oh, I like you. I'm like, that was it. This whole time, man, we've been together for months. Are you kidding I'm me? desperately trying not to pay attention to you guys right now. <laughs> it's I fine. Marcel's just getting cock blocked by another character. I got cock blocked by another character. It's fine. By pie. By pie, man. I, I, a, I am really that demon game, in you, man. I'm busy running another t- a whole team. I'm exhausted. Okay, all right. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but you seem tired, man. Are you okay? A whole other team. You good? Yeah. But I'm just. I'm also just trying to finish like a bunch of games that's uh, you know, try to get like a piece of every game that's nominated from the Game uh, Game Awards as well. To see like, mm. oh, all right, this one deserves the win and everything. So. Mm. 
Actually, I have I have an idea I want to pitch you guys after the show about like talking about you guys talking about Dragon Age. I, I have an idea that I want to pitch. We'll, we'll talk okay. later. Oh, we'll talk later. What what a cliffhanger for this! Episode. What else? Oh my god! Hey, you won't know, but we will know. <laughs> Are we gonna make it to podcast episode sixty nine? I don't know. I don't I'm know. Not gonna, next time, I know. my dead body. We yeah. will. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> cuts, oh yeah. Bad boy in podcasting here. All right. Bad boy. Uh, bad but also, boy. I'm gonna be upgrading my PC, so I'm gonna get some PC parts as well. I'm gonna Sick. be jumping to the 14th gen of Intel. So wish me luck with that one. All right. Mm. All right. And uh, with that being said, we'll see you all here next week. Except for a bad boy over here. He'll be. No, I'm going on the land. We're, ship, we're He's shipping. He's going to Vegas. He could go to Vegas. He's going to play bad boy. He 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 don't tell them what to do. All right. Don't tell them what to do. Mind, everyone just kind of mind your own fucking business. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just sounds like you're just trying to like say, like, you know, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So. Unless, unless you're streaming live from there. Then. Guy oh, uh, never yeah, met a course. juice box. He didn't want to punch. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that means that. See you next week. <laughs>